What's going on guys? In this video I'm going to be sharing you my live trading session as I'm trading a simple scalping strategy. Now this is 2000 tick chart for the S&P 500 futures and the first thing I like to do I like to identify the market what the market has been doing and the first thing I see that we sold off in the very early hours. So I'm going to draw my trend line around this downtrend kind of to see what the downtrend is specifically and i see we have a break and prices made a new low is this exactly according to price action rules because after prices will break they will attempt to make a new low then we try to work higher i'm going to draw my trend line once again we pushed above the ema eventually and since then prices rally off big time so right now we are in an uptrend even though there may be even a little bit shorter trim, shortened trend line, something like this. Uh, but EMA is pointing higher. Uh, prices are above the EMA. So everything seems to suggest that prices are right now in an uptrend. However, we found a resistance at this important key level that I'm going to draw. As you guys can see, we have a almost, almost a triple, triple top right here. So I'm going to pay attention to this a little bit, but we are working our way to the EMA, which would be a key entry point. So I would be probably more inclined to find setups to go long. All right, and we may have our first setup forming right here. So I'm going to put my limit order in place. As you guys can see, I have my automated strategy, which puts my target profit and my stop loss automatically in place. My target profit is eight ticks and my stop loss is right one tick before below this signal bar because this will protect my stop loss and in case i'm wrong i don't want to give no money back so what i'm looking at is i'm looking at two legged move to the ema ema is a key entry point this is the first move this right here is the second move it is not measured uh, but that's not the problem here this is a first entry long pullback second entry long now we are <clears throat> finding a support at the ema we're getting dangerously close to getting stopped out but i still like this trade because this is a second entry long at the ema which is a key entry point we are in an option we are coming off the th th triple top right here which is rather disturbing but the overall structure is up uh and we have this downtrend working low we have a break and a new low now we just opened so there's a lot of fake outs at the open and we just got stopped out <clears throat> i probably should have been um should have been a little bit more patient at the open let me see, we have a thousand tick more ticks left. So we started with the first loser, but luckily the bar was very, sh very small. But I'm toying with the idea of re-entering here because this is looking... Because we just went one tick lower, stopped everybody out, and then we're working higher. And take a look at the signal bar. This is a nice bullish bar, pin bar. So I'm probably going to reverse and take a trade here. Let me see, come on, tick one tick higher, because a lot of times at the open you will get a fake out and I might have gotten trapped here. I have a, normally, I have a rule not to trade at the market open and we tick one tick higher. So I have my, once again, I'm going to put my stop loss one tick below the signal bar. Once again, one contract as a runner in case markets rail up higher and goes unexpectedly, uh, shoots higher. And But my main portion is this three contracts as a scalp portion this is an eight tick scalp target profit and you guys can see my risk to reward ratio is really good here one to two to one here one to two here uh and you guys can see the prices are working higher so i feel confident we may get this scalp now i think we just got a little bit i just entered a little bit too early because right after the market open and you don't really want to be trading if you you really want to be if you're a novice trader a few minutes before and after the market open you really want to stay away from this because this is what can happen there's, there's a lot of shakeouts and i feel confident that now we definitely have a break new low and once again ema is holding prices we didn't close below ema come on we just one take away from getting stopped out uh, getting target profit filled excuse me and by the way, for those who you guys are wondering, this is a 21 bar EMA. I just use it as a supportive indicator, kind of get the feel and what the prices are doing. Because when the prices are above EMA, we are generally in an uptrend and prices are below EMA, we are in a downtrend. And I use this as a key entry point, one of key entry points. The other is a trend lines and support and resistance lines. Those are the key entry points. And we just scalped out. So I'm going to 
put my stop loss at break even because right now I'm holding the runner and this is just a gravy trade. Anything that happens right now is just a bonus. In case we shoot higher and keep rallying up, I want to be in the market. I don't want to just scalp because scalping is reliable. That's, you know, very high percentage. But in case something unexpected happens, I still don't want to leave money on the table. So this is why I'm holding my one contract as a runner and I don't want to give any money back. I could have left it uh, below the signal bar, but I like really to not lose on my runner. I just at least want to have a clean scalp as a, you know, regards re regards to profit. Uh, this triple top is a little bit just a little bit concerning. Uh, looks like there's a lot of sellers at the key, at this key level, but you, know, you cannot ignore bounce off the EMA. Unfortunately, we just entered a little bit too early here on the doji. I probably should have waited for better bar. This is a this has a bearish body, and this bar right here has a bullish body. So we want to go long. So we are looking for bullish body. We're buying the market. Now prices are getting very close to our break-even stop. We're still above the EMA, but there is a. It looks like we are right now working sideways, and we just got stopped out. Uh, that's okay though, because we just made uh, three hundred dollars on the one scalp, and which covered our our loser. So we are one to one. We even made some, I think. This was a very small stop loss, so we're break even. Uh, and yeah, looks like we are now trying to go below EMA. We'll see what happens. All right, so we may have another potential setup. So I'm going to prepare my limit order and we'll see if we get the break below this big bearish bar because prices broke lower below the EMA. And right now EMA is holding prices and it's very hard for prices to close above the EMA. Plus, if I draw this trend line, it confirmed the trend line and we just, we just broke below. So I'm going to put my limit order in, in this trade. I'm going to tighten my tighten my stop loss one tick above this bar I'm going to once again I'm going only for eight ticks here uh, this bar is fairly big but what I'm looking at is my first initial instinct was to look for prices to get to this key level we have a break of this trend line and hoping to get the new high we pushed below EMA so I have to switch the gears because the market structure is changing Price made first entry short, pull back, second entry short, below this bullish bar. We are not interested in going short below bu bullish bar, but we are below EMA. I drew this trend line and this confirmed it. There was no entry below this bar. We traded up higher and ticked one tick higher and then instant reverse. I guarantee you so many people went long and got triggered into this trade one tick higher above this bar and we got we got filled. So I'm going to instantly tighten my... Tighten my Mm, stop loss and you guys can see what a beautiful trap this was this is a first entry short second entry short but the best thing about this trade is one tick higher ab about this big bullish bar people are going long directly into this trend line and we're below ema big bearish bar this is it, this is a variation of a second entry technically second entry triggered below this bar right here but this is a bullish bar with the stem we don't care about this so this is a better form of second entry so first lag pull back second lag and we're working lower now I'm going to be holding my runner. I'm expecting for prices to make it somewhere around here. Of course, we may get stopped out. Nothing really is written in the stone in price action, but we'll see what what may happen. By the way, guys, it is June 7, 1553 Europe time and our runner is continuing working lower. So we are two to one right now. We started with the loser a little bit unfortunate, but hopefully we can catch a good runner to make up for this losing trade and give some money in the bank. All right, guys, so I'm resuming the video as I, as our runner is still continuing working lower. It looks like we may be part of a bigger trend channel working lower, this channel right here, but also there's a smaller channel. I feel that some can be something like this working lower. We had a first entry short at the EMA, but this is not high priority setup. This strategy is based on high priority setups at the key entry point. And two like a pullback second entry is the high probability setup. So I skipped this one. I wouldn't have even traded it because I'm holding a runner. I'm going to tighten my, or let me just keep it like here. We're just $200 in. If we make it to the down line here, we could be like $607 runner, which would be fantastic. But you know how hard it is to catch those runners. So we'll see what's going to happen here. All right, traders, we have a gorgeous second entry short of this key entry point. So I'm going to tighten my stop loss right here. Uh, this is the definitely setup I would be entering had I been 
uh, trading and not holding the runner because take a look at the new low right here. First entry short, pull back, second entry short. This is the first leg working higher. This is the second leg right here. This is also the trend line working higher. You have a break and a new high. It is off this trend line. We are making lower highs and lower lows. This is a strong downtrend. Prices are below EMA. Take a look how the EMA is landing and pointing lower. Prices are closing constantly below the EMA. This right here, second entry short, high probability setup. And I am tightening my runner because, and I feel like my first target may be too big and we may get down to here. I am chicken out a little bit. I know I'm a chicken here, but uh, since I had a losing trade right here, I want to secure because this is looking like a trading range. Now looking at it a little bit further back, this is a clear trading range looking structure. I really don't think we may get all the way down here. So I'm going to tighten this. If we get stopped out, hey, you know, it is what it is. Who cares? This is just a bonus. But um, I'm kind of want to already take this money to cover this losing trade because this is a trading range up, down, down, up, down. And I think I think we may get bounce here. I, it re really doesn't look like we may get all the way down to here. So I'm going to tighten this and let's see what happens. We're working lower, so we may get a perfect bounce off here, but 425, it is tempting to take it already, but oh well. You know, this is the thing about holding runners. How worth is it for me to, because I, I can take $400 right now and be happy with this, but I'm going to risk it just to get a few more, one or two points here. I mean, how worth is it really? It depends on your personality. You know, I like to, I'm very, my hand is itching right now. I want to take this $400 already and cover this losing trade. But at the same time, you know, this is the constant battle. When you're holding a runner, you're constantly finding the target profits. You're finding the targets at the market where the prices may go. Uh, but, you know, $400 would be pretty good to take this already. But we'll see. Maybe we can push lower and I'm overanalyzing. But I want you guys to see my thought process out loud, what I'm thinking. Because look, we almost bounced it. We touched this. Yeah, look, we touched this. I, would be, I wouldn't be surprised if we reverse from here. Hmm. A little bit unfortunate this setup right here. But, you know, it's right after the open. Yeah. It's right after the open. So I probably should have been a little bit more patient. Plus take a look at the bearish bearish body here. This is this right here is much better. I was still a bit surprised that we didn't make it higher. This triple top right here was probably way too strong and we got stopped out. So yeah, hopefully we don't turn out working lower. I would kick myself afterwards, but second entry short right here, great setup. Second entry short right here, great setup. Second entry long right here, great setup. You just got you just have to sacrifice one. But if you stick to the rules, stick to the process, and you don't get faced by this losing trade, you can make money. Look how much money you can make on the way down. Just losing trades are part of trading. It is what it is. And just right after our runner got stopped out, we may have a second entry short right here. I'll see what this bar will finish like. We got still 240 ticks left. If we finish very bearish or at least doji, I'm going to take this. Yeah, we're finishing great. Let me put my limit order in. I still need to wait for trigger below this entry. This right, we're still right now. Uh, the first entry short failed. We ticked higher, so the first entry short fell. Everybody who went short on the first entry failed right now. Why we wait for second entries? Because they are high probability setups. First entries are just whatever market is moving first entries normally. But this is a... Let me quickly focus on this trade because I tend to get very distracted uh, this is a new low first entry short pull back second entry short if we break lower if we will not break lower that's fine i don't care about this we are we may bounce off here go lower the thing is the ema is holding prices and we broke this smaller downtrend working lower so i'm expecting for prices to make a new low and just like it happened right here we broke the trend line new low we're breaking the trend line i'm expecting for prices to make a new low and it is a second entry of the EMA so let me put my limit order in
Amy just got filled. Second entry short. Once again, I'm very tempting probably to merge the contracts, but let's see. Maybe I was completely wrong and we may continue working lower, hopefully. But you guys can see this is why I was so hesitant to take my runner or to continue keeping the runner because we bounce over here at this key level very close to low the day. And yeah, we're still below EMA. Just make it simple. You don't need a lot of indicators. You don't need fancy strategy. Trading is simple. And this, the reason why so many people want to complicate it because it is easy to sell. When you're trying to look smart and you're complicating trading, it is easy to sell because it looks like you have some sort of magic formula. No, every single successful trader is trading pure price action and they learn to read the chart naked. They may have few indicators that, you know, assist them just like I have the EMA, but you guys can see, you guys can do your homework. Second entry short right here, second entry short right here, second entry long right here. It is the market likes to move into two legged pullbacks are, is a high probability setup. And if you combine it with the key entry point, you can really get your win percentage right. We're right now working higher. This is not a good sign. I thought this could, this could be a trap and continue working lower right here. This was a great trap right here. This is not what you want to see. You want to see instant sell off. So I may be wrong here. Of course, anything can happen in trading just like it did right here. But I'm really strongly confident we may get at least this to this low. You know, not every trade is going to be a perfect sell off right here. This was like, how long was it? Like 15 seconds or 20 seconds? I, I don't recall correctly. But, you know, $300 in 20 seconds. Where else you can make this so... It is definitely worth it to learn this strategy and just make it sure you make it simple. You don't need to overcomplicate it. I hate when traders try to look smart and they try to overcomplicate trading, but in reality, it is much simpler than most people think. We're struggling to get, we're halfway down, which is pretty good, but we're struggling to push it lower. This low, this support might be holding strongly. You may go higher. Come on, keep working. Two more ticks. We're probably going to have to take through the order. I have my automated strategy in place exactly for the reason so I'm early in the queue. So I don't have to take through the order. The earlier you are in the queue, the better for you. Because if you're late to the queue, your, your limit order has to be penetrated and go through. But when you're really early in the queue, this automatic strategy will place the all the profits, target profits and stop losses in place as you set up. And you can also make sure, sure you can also set up and we're bouncing off exit order and we got filled. You can also automate uh, after finishing your scalp, putting your break even to putting your stop loss to break even. But I like to do it manually just as a force of habit, I guess you could say. But I really like to do it manually so I can control it and... Uh, yeah, it's all up to you. It is fairly easy to s set it up in the, the, the trading menu. So I'm going to keep the runner, even though I really think we may bounce off here. Uh, but in case, you know, something good happens, because we're, we just made double bottom right here, one tick lower, and we made the new low. But you guys can see, this is why I was looking. Break of this downtrend and a new low. Prices are attempting to do these things over and over again. Nothing complicated. The prices are stalling around this key level, key support. We are failing to break below the structure and there's a bunch of doji starting to form. So we're either going to break higher strongly or break lower strong. This is starting to get very congestive. Uh, we still didn't make a new low technically. We, had, we attempted a new low with double bottom right here, perfect double bottom. But we still need a one tick lower, but you know, sometimes, you know, that's close enough. So we'll see. All right, prices are reversing on, and we got stopped out here. Never mind. Once again, it was just a bonus, just a runner. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up. We are one, two, th three, four, four for the day. One, one, two, three. Yeah, four, four trades, three, one for the day. Started with the loser. Uh, but if you keep your cool and you keep trusting your strategy, you can make it back. Uh, there was even this good setup, but I was holding a runner. But this would be a great setup as well. Second entry short. Uh, it looks like we are in this bigger pattern. I adjusted this trend line a little bit. 
to make it a little bit more clear but there may not even be bigger pattern this is just something i would be eyeballing so hopefully you guys enjoy enjoyed this video if you did and made it to this very end of the video hit the like button i would really appreciate it uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't if you want to learn more about day trading and this easy strategy and yeah hopefully you guys had a good trading day hopefully you guys identified the same setups i'm gonna wrap it up so see you guys in the next one take care everybody